So how are we doing guys and welcome, it's Kraken here, back with 7 Days to Die Alpha 19 and it is day number 14 which means the Horde are going to try and come and kill us and we've still got the chimney up here looking very nice, very very nice. Um, I decided last night in the last video not to go and hand in the quest that we had just rushed to do at the end of the video because I wanted you guys to see what reward we'd get from that. I've got overnight a few more farm plots and we've just got one more farm plot left to do. This is going to be for the aloe vera, uh, which I forgot to mention because we can plant mushrooms anywhere. I don't know whether they're ever going to fix that, but at the moment we can plant mushrooms wherever we so desire. Right, so today obviously we've got the horde. They're going to come and try and kill us, so we're going to be over at our whole base. We're going to take one last look at that, because there was another piece of concrete I wanted to upgrade. So we're going to go and do that, and then we're going to head straight back to where we were to go and hand in up here, uh, no, to the new town, hand in this quest. And then I want to do a buried supplies, because I want to see if we can work out a way of being able to do the buried supplies any easier. So let's get cracking. So back at the hall base, this is something you need to be weary of at times with the, the mechanics of Seven Days to Die. We upgraded all of this at the beginning of yesterday's episode. So the beginning of day 13. And this still hasn't dried yet. Now, there you go. It's just started drying. For some reason, if you stay around these blocks because we upgraded it and then ran straight off if you stay close to the blocks they seem to dry a lot faster if you just upgrade these and then bugger off like we did sometimes they can take three times longer to dry so i'm not quite sure what is up with the drying mechanics it was exactly the same in alpha 18 and alpha 17 i can't quite remember further back than that but one thing to just bear in mind, so I'm not going to upgrade any more of these blocks. I didn't really plan on spending much time here at all, but that's just one thing to um, to watch out for. So with less than an hour in-game, I decided to stay here because I wanted to make sure this was all actually going to dry. Most of it has now dried up for us. Like I say, staying around the area for some reason does really help. So I decided to stay here and knock a bit of this out now. Overnight, um, I didn't actually look at my points. We've got four points available, so we've been building up quite nicely. One thing I wanted to mention, because I've been obviously banging on about mushrooms for God knows how long, is that uh, with level two of Master Chef, we can actually make the meat stew. Now, the recipe for the meat stew, ooh, we've got a little zombie over there is exactly the same as the vegetable stew but obviously the veg stew takes the mushrooms but if we take meat stew the mushrooms are replaced with the meat and we have a silly amount of meat at the moment because of the amount of extra bears and everything else that's in the game so if i put an extra point into master chef We've already got all of this being made and obviously we get the animal fat from killing the animals anyway. So that is one thing I'm going to do straight away because that means food pretty much no longer is an issue. Now, stamina is still a bit of an issue altogether, but we're not going to be going four out of four out of four. It used to be four out of five straight away because it's going to take... Um, take too many points but what I do want to do is do this because we need to start mining and we're going to put a point into mother load in fact I'm going to put two points into mother load I need this now building up because we need to get ourselves a mine oh, I thought you might come over and say hello come on then let's dance oh come on get up Thank you very much. 
yeah, we need to really get a mine sorted. We've got a few small little areas around us, a few nodes that we've been doing. But we really need to get a mine under the base or something that's got a proper cover on it. So the night times we can actually spend mining because we haven't got a lot going for us at the moment. We need we need to get a serious amount of iron production right. Now the trader should be open now so I'm just going to get this last bit of little bit done and then we're going to head to the trader, sell all those gubbins, try and find ourselves a buried supplies. Right here we go, back at the trader. Have we got anything in here? Uh, it doesn't seem like it, nothing there we want to buy. Now, it does have the talk icon for some reason up here, have we? What a wonderful day. It is a wonderful day. We've already got a job from you. Maybe you've restocked? Restocked day 16. So no, you haven't restocked. So here we go. We've actually got a meat shoe here for sale. So let's compare the stats. Food, 31 for the vegetable stew, 15, 20 and 20. 50 for the food, 25 for health, 20 and 20. So we're actually better off with the meat stew. So we're actually... Now we've put that point into Master Chef. We'll go and get some on the go um i'm just gonna buy this kind of stuff now that we can make the meat stew so easily i'm just gonna buy this stuff for making the fish um tacos or tacos as they are more well known around the world um has he got anything else that we are interested in have a quick look. Shepherd's Pie. Now we've actually... We've looked at that. We've already read that. So we might have to look at how... How easy that is to make. Uh, what's this one here? Oh, I like this one. Uh, torches or Molotovs burn for 10% longer. Well, that's a no-brainer. Um, wasteland treasures. I figured out the hack on how to purify water. Now there's no dysentery or anything like that in the game. I'm not overly concerned by that at all. Um, but we're going to leave that one just for the second. Right, we need to sell you this. Beautiful, right. Great doing business with you. Come back and tell your friends. I will do if I had any friends. Right. I'm going to get some food on the go and then we're going to head to the north. Ooh, a bullseye. So now that we are going to start making meat stews, we need to make sure we get every animal that we can see. Right, here we go, guys. Back at the trader. How right. It? Here you go, friend. Whatever you need. Wooden bow, Save 22. Work. And ours is 28. So, yeah, nowhere near as good. 3, 7, 3. Eight. Right, we're going to get the wooden bow and sell that back to you. Oh, tier 2 complete. Unfortunately, nothing really worth having. Um, Well, we've already read that, so... That's not good. Have you got any special jobs? Okay, let's take a special job. I that really no doubt will take us to... I'm, asking you for a hand. I'm sure we've already met God Joel. Speed. But we can take a normal job. We learned that last time. Right, I won... Well, you had a buried supplies yesterday. Look at all these. Nice and close, though. Um, They're all Tier 2s. I thought we just completed Tier 2. Right, okay, that, I wanted to do a berry supplies. Um, do you think you can help me with that? I can't thank you enough. Sure we can help you with that. Right, let's just sell you these here. Great doing business with you. Come back and tell your friends. Great doing business with you too, but you haven't got what I wanted. Right, uh, saw you out. Thank you. Right, where was this special quest? Right, that's already on the map. 
And yes, it was going to take us to the one that we've already got. Right, well, we're actually going to head over there because there's going to be a link road here somewhere. We'll head over here and see if they've got a buried supplies for us. Right, here we are, back at the forest, burn forest biome. Um, right, they don't really have anything there that we want. Let's go and see Joel. What does Joel got for us? We have great prices. Many thanks. You've proved to be very resourceful. Okay, so the reward for just coming and seeing the new trader, the special quest, was just a little bit of XP, so that's not too bad. Now, we've already got a job off you. So let's have a quick little look at our jobs. Probably this one here, which is only 100 meters away, so... Let's just go ahead and do that. And we have got a waterworks here, so we could jump in and just grab the final loot of a waterworks while we're at it. So that might be something that we go and do. So literally, this was the house next door, and it's just a clear, so we haven't got to worry about looking to find anything. We just need to come in here. Kamikaze style and basically do that to everyone we see beautiful right you medical piles in here bit of brass Ooh, antibiotic, that's going to be useful. Cooking pot. Oh, the zombies are starting to get bigger. Oh, hello, is that her? And we've woken a lot of people up. Oh, we've got a spider somewhere. Right, is this up here? Sounds like it, but where is it? See you there. We do not want to really get ourselves injured before the horde night. That would not be a good idea. But we've got to go down there. What's down this side? That's where we came up, so. My gun is reloaded. Oh. I knew he was going to come and find us. Looks like they all have. Well, these new zombies do definitely blend themselves in a lot more than the others. Hello, ben, what are you hiding? No safes in here for me. Most of them have been smaller zombies so far.
Oh, now there we go. There's the treasure map that we needed, so we can... That means that definitely in the next episode we're going to be able to actually sort out and work out a way of doing these berry supplies a little easier. Now, is there something in here? No, we've already been through there. Right, okay, it wasn't any hidden loot down the stairs. Right. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, for some landmines there. Oh, I love this baseball bat. But be careful though, because he is going to need a repair kit shortly. Stay away from those landmines. Oh, ammo pile. Okay. Help if I actually press the right button. There we go. You did not make a sound at all. I'm going to put some extra points into pain tolerance at some point. Now we've got some more coffee there, so we can make some more coffee seeds. Our farm plots are um, doing very well, and now basically can continu continuously make f decent food, which um something I've really missed in Alpha 18. Always thought the farming was a very good part of the game. <laughs> How was your trip, Nancy? Ooh, that's given us the yellow dot, which means that we are nearly there. There we go. Job done. Right, here we go then. Let's see what we've got here in the final loot. And it actually looks like, you can see from up here, that this wasn't actually the trader next to us. This was a trader miles away. Right, what have we got here? Gun store box. Hmm, not very useful to me. Another level 6 axe and a couple of anvils. I think we've got all the anvils we need now, but um, we'll have a look at that. So is that 8 times mod? Scope mod? A book we've already read. Level 6 scrap gloves. Oh, we're wearing level 5, so... We'll be taking all of that. Bone knife, no thank you. Oh, that's actually working. And that's going to be locked. Now, what I'm going to do... Because I don't think we're actually going to find anything good in here at all. I'm going to start marking these and come back when our game stage is better. So we can come back in here and hopefully use that um, those sweets that mean we're going to lockpick that first time. GTFO straight out of the window. Right, let's head home. Oh, I thought we'd just come and hand this quest back in. Nothing in there. Those are the jailbreakers, though. So they gave us 10 minutes, so if we can mark as many safes as we can, I'll buy them now and then go around and do as many of these saves in one go as possible. Right. Oh, level 3 baseball bat, and we already have one of those. Uh, melee damage of 21. We're doing 24, but with two mods in it. Okay, well, we'll have a quick look at that. Name's not important. Can't say I'm not surprised. Right, get ourselves another quest from him, ready for the next one. So I'm going to head back home and get things ready for the horde tonight. So we're back at the base now. I wanted to read this treasure map back here because it lets you 
no where the treasure is from where you actually read it so as we are at the top part of the map i read it down here that should now show up on my map and it should be somewhere closer to our base so so let's put the treasure map down here actually just down towards that wayne manor which we were going to go and have a look at it does actually look like though it's in the middle of a road which is um far from ideal but we can we can still sort that out that's okay but if we had read that map all the way up here when we found it it could have been somewhere way up here so it was better off reading that down here we got a couple of weapons and tools to compare now so we've got our baseball bat which is almost done um, let's take the mods quickly out of that so this is doing a base damage of 20 and the one that we got here is actually 21 so that means we leave that to one side and modify that we're going to put the grip in it because the grip's really good for the stamina and we'll put the barbed wire on it and we'll take the green die as well there we go right that one's all complete that one's going to be ready for tonight's horn night and also i wanted to have a look at this stone axe because we can fit a lot of mods in there so if we put again the grip in it and we've got the iron breaker and the stone breaker there can we put that grip in it as well no we can only put the one grip in in it and we grab the grab that as well modify so we've got the wood splitter there as well this now does a block damage of 40. what's our pickaxe do our pickaxe does 45 and the I block that does a block damage of 57. so i think these still do work out slightly better obviously that this has got a stamina cost of seven that's a stamina cost of 19. so there is a good argument to if you're not actually mining to just taking the stone axe and that means you want to carry less things about because it means we could leave both of these then back at home so might try that actually for the next day or two just give it a go just using the stone axe and we've got the stone shovel shovel which we worked out was better anyway and give that a slight go i'll well, leave that baseball bat in there for now right i'm going to get all my stuff together for tonight and i'll meet you guys over at the hall base so we're just a few minutes away now from the horde coming in i've got my skull crusher sweeties here which is going to give me five minutes each of extra melee damage melee is going to be option number one but if that doesn't go to plan and we've got all of this here let's just make sure everything's actually reloaded while we're here and in they come all right let's get all of our repairing items as well Now they should come straight into here this way because we've cleared out that kitchen. Yeah, and here they come straight away. Let's take that candy. Oh, look at these homers. Spiders straight away. I have to watch out for that. The spiders look like they've got a different reach through the bars compared to Alpha 18. Oh. Give the blunderbuss a bit of a go.
he died just getting back up. Oh, we got a, got a lovely book there. Now they don't seem to be attacking these bars as much as they used to in Alpha 18. Hardly touched them at all, actually. Well, that's good news for us. How are we looking game stage wise? Game stage 45, so we're just starting to get up there now. 50 is the next level of loot, so if we can get quite close to that tonight, I'll be very happy with that. Two and a half minutes left on the candy. One less off time, I think. We can't get too close, so that's going to set us alight again. We'll just watch the XP roll in. Even that sent me a light. Still not doing too much damage. We've got the doggies coming in thick and fast. Hello. Oh, we've got Vulture issues. Oh, hell. Oh. Fatality. Right, we need to patch up those holes fast. Right, if we get you guys sorted over here with that. Bring you frames back down. Right, we're going to definitely have to look at a way of reinforcing this a bit more. Still coming thick and fast. Right, I'm going to definitely take this. Now that we've got quite a few vending machines and traders we can check out. Spend the week stocking up on these, ready for the Horde Knights. There we go. Cool. Oh, this candy is just next level. Would not surprise me if that gets nerfed from fifty percent. Oh, she's she's got lost. On the verge of getting another skill point. There it is. Seems to have gone a little bit quiet. Quarter past one, is that the whole horde? Let's check out a few of these bags. Some corn meal. Some more ammo. Oh, lots of stuff. Right. How much ammo we've actually got, though. I really need another knife. Great heist. 10% more jewellery and precious gems when looting. Perfect. We'll read that. And we'll read the schematic for that one. Give us a little bit more room again. 
Another level 3 hammer, that's nice. And a can of tuna, we will eat that. Uh, it looks like the monosoft still don't really do any damage to your own blocks, which is nice. Upgrade these while we're here. There we go, and we're going to have to do something with this top area, to something with this roof. But that looks like that's the whole horde. We're not going to respawn in the horde again tonight. I'm just going to stay on here till 4 o'clock though. And then head back to the home base. So as always, big thumbs up on the video if you've enjoyed it. Any comments, put those down below. I'll catch up with you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.